Apparently, um, viewers are just dying for me to deal with your arms. Okay. Okay? Uh, cause your arms are right here. Yeah. But I want to tell everybody right there why I'm not doing that yet. Okay. Because I'm focusing so much on your lower body. Yeah. I'm, and we ski with our legs, yeah. don't we? Mm -hmm. And you've got a lot going on in your brain with your legs. Yeah. I need your legs to be so active. Okay. Okay? And I don't want to ask you to do three or four different things at once. Okay. I am asking you to ski foot to foot. Yeah. I'm asking you, I introduced kind of hip to tip. Yeah. Working forward. So hip to tip working forward. Okay. I, you know, your hand, I, your tips, your hips can be back here yeah. and your arms can be forward. I mean, your arms forward are, isn't necessarily going to do anything yeah. for us. Okay. Your arms forward is not going to make your legs ski. Right. Your center of mass and your legs being active and into the cuffs of your boots that doesn't come from your arms. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So I, I want everybody know, to know out there that, yes, the arms are really, really important. Ooh. And if you were swinging your arms, yeah. and if they were throwing you out of balance, we'd be dealing with it. Yeah. Right now, we ski with our legs. Okay. And that's really what I want to focus on. Okay. Okay? Let's right. head down here. All right. Foot to foot, ski foot with foot. your legs, Kelly. Okay. What do you think, everybody? Okay, so Kelly, what I'm what I'm realizing is I I really want to get our fore aft balance yeah. a little more effective. Because to, to release edges, you can't do it from the back seat. Okay. Our, that, that femur, our thighs, they don't tip very well. If you're up and over your hips better, yeah. then you can work this edge okay. better. Okay? So give me this tip. I'm going to put it on my thigh. Okay. It's going to cause some balance right here. Okay. Good to see you. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you to give me your other tip. Okay. Okay. Let me get my goggles here. Take it. So give me this tip. Now, you're going to be shifting your entire. You're going to be shifting your entire balance point. Okay. Your, uh, okay. I got to grab this better. Okay. okay. Your hips need to come forward more towards me. Okay. Bend into the front of your boots. Okay. Now, kind of bounce on those skis. Come more forward. Get more. Get your hips more forward. Does that feel different? No. That's that's different, isn't it? Yep. Okay, load up those ski tips. Okay. Get 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 move your hips forward. Okay. More. Do it. Bounce. That's different, isn't it? Yeah. Now go back. Go back. Yeah. That, 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 that's where we need you to be. Okay. Do you see that difference? Yep. Yeah. Yep. That that it's only a matter of inches. Yeah. So it's an interesting thing as an instructor because uh, we judge ourselves and we want our guests to progress, right? And we want our guests to progress on our timeline. Um, and it's not about me, it's about the guest. It's about the guest timeline. It's about the guest feeling of ownership. It's about the guest feeling of success. Uh, and so I have to be real careful not to push through things too fast. I have to be careful not to add too much content. Uh, Cause this lesson and the learning's not about me. It is about the guest. It's about Kelly right now and, uh, and mileage and her comfort and um, also her level of understanding. And in time, these things are gonna come. So I'm just trying to be real transparent with things that go through my mind with this whole process of 
teaching and conveying info. Oh.